Hi, Paul. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Um, good to go. Please get us started. Good to go. Okay. So, uh, we're obviously disappointed. Uh, I think we've, we've, we've got to be honest with ourselves and this, this run is unacceptable. Uh, you know, the attitudes I thought were fantastic again. Uh, there's a real commitment from the team. They believe in what we're doing, but ultimately you judged on results and ultimately we, we've lost five straight games and uh, that is unacceptable. I, 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 I agree with that. So uh, we're not here to make excuses at all. The players are probably as disappointed of us as if I've ever seen them. Uh, but the look will change for us with the, with the attitudes and the commitment that they're giving us. We've got players coming back from injury. We've got Rodolfo now and, and Gonzalo, Robbie Robinson coming back. Kieran Gibbs will be with us for the next game. Nick Marsman will be with us for the next game. Uh, and we know what we have to do now. We have to attack the rest of the season. We're going into the meat of the season where it's now becoming a marathon three games a week, playing the best teams. And there's now no hiding place at all. We can't hide behind injuries. We can't hide behind international call-ups, Gold Cup, whatever that, that is, Copper America. Uh, it's now it's now win time. Uh, I can't fault their attitudes at all. Uh, composure in the final third, final cross, final pass, more, more offensive pressure. Yes, take all that. We need to be better at that. But we will be. Uh, I can promise you that. And, uh, you know, they fought to the end. Uh, but ultimately, Montreal created more chances, uh, looked a threat every time they went forward, I've got to say, like most teams have when they've played against us. Uh, and, and we've got to make sure that we're better at both ends of the pitch. Uh, attitudes, aggressive and all that business. First half, I thought, I thought we were weak in a lot of our challenges uh, from a shape where we wanted us to be more aggressive. Uh, and I just thought that that we just allowed them to get the initiative into the game. Second half, we didn't. We were more on the front foot. We played out. I thought we should have done. When we had the ball, we, I thought we caused them problems with the tactics that we had. But ultimately, a game is won and lost by chances in the opposition box and how you defend in, in your own box. So ultimately, Montreal were better than us on, in both boxes. And ultimately, that's where the game's won and lost and we need to be better. And those players that, that now have been brought to the club to to produce moments of magic, to produce match-winning performances, to produce match-winning crosses. The players that we expect to do that now have to deliver. And uh, and that's what the demand will be on. It's unacceptable. We have to now deliver. Uh, and that's not a threat. That is just reality of where we are at this moment in time. We, uh, we are losing too many games. And uh, you know, we now need to stand up, every single one of us, myself included, myself more, more than anyone, to make sure that we're all absolutely better. And, uh, you know, I think that's why I took the job. I took the job because it was a massive challenge. And, uh, and we're going to make sure, we've said in the, in the dressing room at the end, we won't fail. This, this, this football club has to succeed and, uh, and we will. Uh, and I'm convinced of that. And uh, I think, I think uh, that's probably it, really. Thank you, Phil. All right, let's go to a couple of questions. Let's get started with Michelle. Michelle, you're off mute. We can't hear you, Michelle. Okay, there we go. Uh, Phil, considering all the things you just said about, uh, you know, all these players who are brought in to do all these things and make magic and and they, they aren't doing it and have, you know, they need to deliver and all that. Um, I'm just wondering why the team seemed to do much better in the second half when Gonzalo came in. I mean, uh, it was, I don't know, it was palpable when he comes in, there's more energy. Everybody seemed to elevate the game when he came in. So um, why not start him? Why is he still coming in off the bench in the second half? And, and the same question about Gonzalo, I mean, about Rodolfo, that uh, he came in pretty late too. I'm just wondering why not play them earlier in the game? What's the thinking there? Well, because uh, Gonzalo's on a fitness program to get fit and uh, he's getting fitter every game, fitter every day. And uh, he agrees with it. We agree with it. We've got to stick to the plan. He'll be 100% fit for New York Red Bulls. Uh, it's a stringent plan what we've put him on. It's important that he stays to the plan. He, he committed to the plan. He wants to be able to compete for longer periods in games. And, and, and we saw glimpses tonight. We saw little glimpses against Orlando. But we need now 90 minutes out of every single player. And to do that, you need to be at the peak physical fitness. So uh, tough decisions were made and 
we knew that we were taking somebody out of the, uh, the starting lineup that was one of our best attacking players, but ultimately it was for the good, uh, was for the good of the group, was for the good of the long term uh, success of this team this season. Uh, we're going into the meat of the season where it's three games a week, 90 minutes each game, and we need our best players on the pitch. And ultimately, uh, the two players that you talked about, Rodolfo's only had four, four days training in the last four or five weeks. Uh, and, and Jay Chapman, I thought, played really well. So did Julian Carranza against Orlando. And they, and, and they are 100% fit. They can compete for 90 minutes. And I only want players on the pitch that can play for 90 minutes. And we think that when the game opens up in the second half, like we've seen in both games, uh, Gonzalo's come on and made a, a big impact. And, uh, you know, but the next game, uh, he'll be he'll be ready to start. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, next, let's go to Franco. Thank you, Jackie. Hey, Phil. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the initial game plan for how you guys were planning to to break down Montreal. What was the, the plan to break them down with the ball when you guys had the ball? Um, obviously, I know you've been emphasizing being hard to break down and being tough to play against first and foremost. But with the ball, what was the idea to try and create some chances uh, and cause danger in their in their uh, defensive third. Thank you, Phil. Well, we, we wanted to get an out. We wanted to outnumber them in midfield, and we did when we had possession, when we controlled and we had composure. We outnumbered them in midfield with with Jay Chapman and Lewis Morgan and Gonzalo, uh, Gregory and and Blaze. And in the second half, with Gonzalo dropping in, so we definitely outnumbered them in the ball. What 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 we needed more of? We needed penetration as well from uh, Breck in the first half. In the second half, it was Lewis playing out wide. Julian Carranza needed to stretch the teams more and penetrate more in behind. That that was the game plan. And there was, there was periods when we caused them real problems. Uh, it's just that when you get to the final third, you just need more quality and take your time. Was, we must have got caught offside maybe four or five times in the second half from really good positions. Leodum, Carranza, Gonzalo, I think, got caught offside or, or Lewis Morgan maybe. So it's just that final bit when you're so desperate and you're chasing and you're... Uh, and you're desperate for that, uh, you know, uh, final pass or that 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 shot on goal that will give you, uh, you know, a chance on goal. Uh, that's where composure is needed, and uh, we just didn't feel. I didn't feel as if we had that from our final passes, final crosses throughout the whole game. I thought we were rushed and a little bit uptight on everything we'd done, and we told them that we needed to be composed because they have a strong back line of five. They go back into a five, they get the three, four in front of them. So we needed to make sure that we had composure at times. And uh, I thought that's what we lacked tonight at times in the final the final bit, you know, that last bit near the, the edge of the box. Thank you, Franco. We'll take one more question from Kobe. Thanks, Jackie. Hey, Phil, you guys have, uh, I think it's two weeks from today before the next game. You mentioned multiple things that you guys need to work on to refine before the Red Bulls game, I believe. But if going to this break, what's the one thing that you feel like if you've changed one thing about this team or some one thing flips, what do you, I guess you guys are going to focus on to make that better uh, coming out of the break? Well, I think, I think the one thing I don't want to lose, I don't want them to lose their attitudes and belief in what we're trying to do. I want them to keep that, keep that. And then, and then add on top the confidence, you know, five games, five games without a victory. You lose, you lose a little bit of confidence in, in the ability in the final third. It shows up more in the final third uh, where you need to be relaxed. So I want them to play with a bit more freedom in the final third. I want them to, to have that uh, composure. And that's where, you know, in, in the game against the Red Bulls, we'll have all our best attacking players back, back ready and fit. Uh, and, and hopefully that will show in, in, in the movements in the final third. So now we need to be a threat going forward. Now we need to make more chances and create more chances. Uh, and that and that would make us a bigger threat. We're going into a we're going into a big week. We're going into a big beat, a big week uh, where Red Bulls, uh, Red Bulls, New England, and Philadelphia in a week, and then we've got Nashville. I think after that, maybe at home. So we've got three home games and and Red Bulls away. I think those four games will determine whether we're we're going to be challenging for a playoff or not. Okay, oh, thank thanks, you guys. Guys.